My friend Al that I was playing with told me that they were forming a team. They had formed a team and that mm -hmm. we had joined. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so I'm on a team now. <clears throat> so I was on sudden death. Paintball was tribal. Yeah. Uh, if somebody from another team cheated on you and mm -hmm. shot you, wiped their paint off, whatever, that whole team is no good. Yeah. Right? You would talk about that team and trash that team as a, a bunch of cheaters. Team. Yeah. And what team is going to have... 15, 20, 30 people on it. Some of the mm -hmm. teams were 40, 50 people yeah. at that time. Uh, uh, and what team's going to have a team that's entirely clean? So everybody hated everybody, mm -hmm. uh, but we all played everyone. And uh, Sudden Death had a lot of talent, and I was learning about the game. And there was a particular day at Ross's Field uh, we were branching out playing at other fields, but we were at Ross's field. And this the, is still the Westlake skirmish this field. This is the Westlake field. This, is, this was probably a, a day, an event that changed things for me because mm -hmm. everything changed after yeah. this. It was a team game, mm -hmm. and the team had recruited six or eight Bushmasters. At the end of four games, it was tied uh, because the rest of the team wasn't any good. But the Bushmasters, of course, were the Bushmasters. And by the team, you mean Sudden Death? The team we were playing, the Sudden oh, Death was okay. playing. I don't remember who it yeah. is. It's just a Sudden Death team game. Mm -hmm. So I think, thought about it, and I went up to the captains, mm -hmm. Stuart and Steve, and I said, listen, I, I, I've got a plan I'd like to throw at you for this game, mm -hmm. and I think it would work. Okay, well, what is it? Because their, pl their plan is, you know, eight of you go this way, and eight of you go this way and four of you up the middle and four stay up mm -hmm. the flag and we're done. Okay, yeah. we know what we're doing. And I said, uh, the Bushmasters always take the hill because they love the hill and they rule the hill. So let's send our four best players up there and their only mission is to stay alive, to dig in and, and like try and back up. One of them should get up at one point and run away and hopefully not get shot, but if he does, it doesn't matter. And we're gonna have one person at the base that's just gonna watch what's happening on the hill. And that person's gonna yell a code word when the Bushmasters tra pass a particular height, the Rubicon, really. Mm -hmm. uh, point of no return. And at that point, everyone else is going up the middle and the right, in the open, through the guns, and we'll destroy them because we'll outnumber them by a lot and we'll just run the flag back before the Bushmasters can get off the hill. And they said, that sounds great. So we tried that. And I didn't do anything in the game. I just walked around waiting for the code and then talked everybody into charging in the open down, mm -hmm. down the field. And the flag came back and we hung. And when that was over, uh, they asked me if I would take over being captain of the team. Hmm. I thought, yeah, okay, that sounds like fun. So you found your calling I did. as the strategic team captain. Yeah, it turned out my one talent gift in uh, life yeah. is small unit tactics killing people. Huh. Uh, and not <laughs> something a bit more humanistic. Yeah. yeah, well, and paintball, it just happens to work or out. Lucrative. Or so. lucrative. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty much anyone that I've talked to about you is is pretty much like, yeah, Dave plays games. That's what he does. I like and games. And you make strategies. You you know you yeah. play role playing games or D and D and role playing D and D. You're getting into people's heads, trying to think whatever. what they want. Yeah. Where they want to go. I'll yeah. Think them. Yeah. Within two months, I had sudden death, so that. We played a game of walk-on at Ross's field, and they're all running away because we've torn them up. Yeah. And my friend Al comes up to me and says, I had a little tear in my eye <laughs> watching them run away. And they hated me. Uh-huh. And Ross could never sponsor me because they worked in his shop, those two teams. Uh -huh. And uh, there was just a rivalry there. Two teams as in Navarone and the Bushmasters. We never got along. Yeah. Ever. Uh -huh. <laughs>